Titanic's departure from Southampton on April 10, 1912, marked the start of its ill-fated inaugural voyage. Its tragic sinking just days later is one of history's most infamous maritime disasters. In 1960, a US housewife advertised Vel detergent on TV, sparking the era of televised ads and new household products for American families' convenience. Around 1900, workers unloaded bananas from a steamship in bustling New Orleans, highlighting the city's vibrant trade and commerce. A dramatic shootout occurred between the Los Angeles police and a man named George Farley in year 1938. In the Utua sector, a Finnish military chaplain was captured in a poignant moment as he looked over a badly wounded soldier on May 20th, 1943. Sally Field, a versatile and beloved actor, has had a long and accomplished career. Despite her diverse roles and success, she has expressed a persistent drive to do more. She admired the legendary Catherine Hepburn, but often felt like an outsider in the industry, always aspiring to achieve more. This photo was taken in 1918 during World War I. Amiens Cathedral is seen with its walls lined with sandbags, a protective measure against artillery shells. Three-year-old Eileen Dunn is pictured in the hospital after sustaining injuries during the London Blitz, captured in 1940. Walt Disney is seen here recording with a film crew on the opening day of Disneyland. This photo was taken on July 17, 1955, in Anaheim, California. U.S. Army troops on Harley-Davidson Model J motorcycles. It was taken at Fort Myer in Arlington, Virginia in 1917. Susan Sarandon skillfully embodies the character Hattie in the 1978 film Pretty Baby. Her portrayal in the movie captivates audiences with its depth and authenticity. Amelia Earhart an American aviation pioneer, achieved worldwide acclaim as the first female aviator to successfully complete a solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. She's standing next to one of her planes, captured in 1932. In 1863, amid the ruins of a Union camp in Falmouth, Virginia, a compassionate Union Army soldier offered his canteen to an injured Zouave soldier. Victoria Station in London was shrouded in smog caused by severe air pollution from the use of coal and other pollutants, circa 1959. During the Battle of Amiens in France, a messenger pigeon was released from a porthole in the side of a British Mark V tank belonging to the 10th Battalion, Tank Corps near Albert, captured in August 9, 1918. Warriors from the Ngoni people participated in the celebrations for King George V's coronation in Zomba, which is now part of modern-day Malawi, circa 1911. Jacqueline Bisset was photographed during the filming of The Deep. This iconic image captured her in a memorable underwater scene from the adventurous thriller directed by Peter Yates in 1977. Walt Whitman, the American poet, essayist and journalist, pictured around 1863, served as a volunteer nurse during the US Civil War. Around 1945, U.S. soldier was baptized in the fountain at the Royal Palace of Caserta, Italy. Tsarina Alexandra Feodorovna of Russia having a sculpture created of her in 1914. 
On August 17, 1960, the iconic musical group known as The Beatles took to the stage, delivering a memorable performance at the Indra Club in Hamburg, Germany. A dedicated boat crew embarked on a rowing expedition for a fishing venture off the picturesque coast of Sidrugota in the Faroe Islands in 1898. West Indian men, dutifully serving in the British Navy, captured around 1917. A remarkable view of the plaza buildings in New York City was captured from the serene expanse of Central Park on the 12th of February, 1933. The NASA Paraglider Research Vehicle 1A on the expansive Rogers Dry Lake Bed at the NASA Flight Research Center, situated at Edwards Air Force Base in California. In this historical image, Mercury astronaut Gus Grissom can be seen on the left, while NASA test pilot Milton Thompson stands on the right, captured in October 1962. Dr. Mary Edwards Walker, 1832 to 1919, is the only woman to receive the Medal of Honor and one of only eight civilians to receive it. After the Civil War, she was a writer and lecturer supporting the women's suffrage movement until her death in 1919. She's seen here in her 80s, wearing men's clothing in Washington, D.C. A portion of the Canadian Pacific Railway as it passed through Wapta Canyon in British Columbia, providing a glimpse of the railway's route through the picturesque terrain, circa 1902. The Hindenburg airship gracefully soaring above Manhattan, New York, en route to Lakehurst, New Jersey. In this historic image, the airship can be seen passing by the iconic Empire State Building, captured on August 8, 1936. American soldiers gazed upon the Eiffel Tower in awe as they witnessed the triumphant moment when the French flag, after a period of occupation, once again unfurled proudly from the iconic Parisian landmark in year 1945. Around 1917, Richard Jack dedicates himself to crafting his iconic masterpiece, The Second Battle of Ypres. The Ovitz family, a Hungarian Jewish family of dwarf entertainers, defied the odds and exhibited extraordinary resilience, emerging from the horrors of Auschwitz with all of their members miraculously intact. In approximately 1900, a captivating photograph captured the daily lives of fishermen and women in Whitby, North Yorkshire, England. Amidst the upheaval of World War II, a heartwarming scene was captured in Surrey, England, featuring two refugee children from Luxembourg finding solace and comfort in stroking their beloved pet, circa 1942. The year 1839 marked a pivotal moment in photographic history as John William Draper, using pioneering techniques, captured the first distinct photograph of a female face. The subject of this historic image was Dorothy Catherine Draper, and her portrait represents a remarkable milestone in the early days of photography. Thank you for joining us in this visual journey through history. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and family. Until next time, travel well and stay safe.